All right, class, today we're going to read a book, and it's called Mousetronaut by astronaut Mark Kelly. Can anyone look at the cover and use the title to tell me what you think this book's going to be about? Go ahead. You think it's going to be about a mouse? That's a good choice, yeah, definitely. Okay, you? You think it's about the mouse going to space? That could definitely be it. All right. The space shuttle is set for a launch, and the astronauts are doing their last-minute training to prepare for the mission. NASA is sending along some special guests for the flight, and they're training too. See? The mice might be going on this flight. See all their hard work they're doing? One mouse is smaller than all the rest. His name is Meteor. The other mice know he won't be chosen for the important mission, but someone has their eye on Meteor, and he's impressed with the little mouse's hard work. Why do you think maybe the astronaut's impressed by Meteor? Can anyone point out Meteor for me? Go ahead. This guy on the wheel? Yeah, that's Meteor because he's so much smaller, right? So what's Meteor doing that's impressing the astronaut? Go ahead how he's still working and the others are just hanging out chit-chatting? Yeah, definitely. The shuttle commander announces that six mice will be selected for a flight. He picks five of them, biggest, strongest mice. But for the sixth spot, to everyone's surprise, he chooses Meteor. All six are taken to their new home, a special cage called the Mouse Hotel. The other mice are nervous as the countdown begins, but not Meteor. All right, can everyone count down for me? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off! At first, the mice are pressed against their cages by the power of the launch. But then, the pressure goes away, and the other mice cling to their cage in terror. But not Meteor. He loves the feeling of weightlessness. See him there? Hey, little guy, the commander says. You're a natural, a real, live mousetronaut. All right, can anyone see how the other mice aren't doing too well, but Meteor is? Does anyone know why that might be? Go ahead. Maybe because of all that hard work he put in before, and the other guys were just hanging out, so they weren't as ready to go on the mission? That's a good idea, yeah. Meteor is taken from his cage and gets a tour of the shuttle. He even sees the Earth way off in the distance. The astronauts are all very busy during the 14-day flight. There are space walks to be taken and experiments to be conducted. But what can Meteor do to help? Anyone have any ideas what Meteor might be able to do for the astronauts while they're doing all these things? Go ahead. Maybe helping out back on the ship. Yeah, that could happen. Okay. Maybe do smaller tasks that only a mouse can do. That would be a good idea. All right. Then, while answering emails, one of the astronauts noticed the key to the control panel is stuck between the monitors. When he tries to get it out, it accidentally gets wedged further down. This isn't good, says the commander. We need that key back. One astronaut tries to remove the monitor doesn't budge. Another slips her fingers into the crack, but the key is stuck down too deep. One even tries pushing it out with a long piece of metal, but with no luck. No one can reach it. 
The astronauts are getting worried. But as they discuss the problem, a tiny figure has an idea. Being the smallest isn't a bad thing, Meteor says to himself. Maybe I can be useful to this flight. See Meteor down there in the corner? What do you think maybe he can do to help all these astronauts trying to figure out the problem? Maybe try to open the control panel? Maybe. Maybe trying to get in there because he's so small. Maybe he has a better chance. Yeah, that's a good idea. Meteor squeezes his way into the crack. The space is dark and cramped, but Meteor spots the key. He tugs at it with all his might. Hey, look at what our tiny friend has done, the commander says. He's saved the mission. When the shuttle returns to Earth, Meteor is declared a hero. He's been given a brand new uniform and an official title, Mousetronaut. All the astronauts cheer and applaud, but Meteor is already thinking about his next big mission. See him? He's got his nice little suit on. Okay. So in the story, we talked about how the mouse had to work really, really hard, even when the other mice weren't. And then in the end, it paid off because he was the hero of the mission, and all his hard work was equal to something at the end. So it worked out for him because of all the work he put in. Can any of you think about a time where maybe you tried really hard at something that didn't come natural to you? Or you went through a hard time, but in the end, your hard time was what built up to something great or really awesome thing that happened afterwards. So with all of you thinking about your individual hard work and then good outcome situation, I want you all to think about it. And then I want, for our journal entry today, we're going to write about so I want everyone to write about all the hard work or the tough times you went through to equal to a great outcome or something that really made you happy or that you were really proud of, just like the mouse was really proud of himself after he put in all his hard work and then he was able to come out and be the hero of his mission. So, all right, we're going to break off and we're going to go grab our journals now.